At the Bissell Pet Foundation, we feel that the best way to understand the shelters we serve are to visit them. And we typically pick shelters that maybe are forgotten shelters that people don't really know about, but we can come and bring an awareness to other rescues and also give them some resources to fix their shelter. I don't think people have any idea how many rural shelters there are and what that even means. People don't realize that these places have no foot traffic. There are not humans that walk through the kennels to take these animals into their loving homes. They need to find a rescue organization that can bring them to a shelter where there is that foot traffic. Every time we visit a shelter, it really boils down to who is the one overseeing the shelter. And this shelter is blessed to have Heather Snyder. She is the animal control officer and she cares. So for us to come into an environment like this and realize that there's somebody who's looking for help, but yet is really wonderful at what they do, that's how you save lives. Here at Franklin County Animal Control, we are the only shelter for Franklin County. And we are flooded with animals. We are open intake. So that means today, if someone lives in Franklin County and says, hey, I got 10 dogs, we have to take them. And we have to make room at the drop of a hat. That is a huge challenge. So a couple dogs, whenever I leave, they tear at my heart. And Hank is a dog that tears at my heart. Hank was surrendered when they could no longer take care of him. And Hank's just been here. How long? He's been here two months. How long is the normal time that they get adopted? Actually, most of our dogs go to rescues. And they're usually out of here within a month. He's just been here a little longer because he does get a little excited about men. And the very, men. Uh, men. Now you're telling me. <laughs> So Hank is one of those beautiful dogs that he doesn't show well in a kennel. And what that means is when a rescue organization comes walking by to see which animals they can pull, Hank's barking, Hank's growling, Hank's jumping on the cage. And so for most people, they would say, okay, that's not a good candidate. But you get him out of that kennel, totally different dog. He gets to love you, he loves you. Yeah. Well, he already loves us, so that was pretty good. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I got to see Hank out of his kennel, and he is a lover. He's licking, he's hugging, he wants nothing but love. Then you see him behind that kennel, and he's kind of lungy. And so I understand why people pass on dogs like that, but they shouldn't. You sweet thing, you, I know, I know. Some shelter dogs, like our friend Hank, have more to offer than their first impressions in the shelter. In order to get him and some of his buddies into loving homes, we need to prepare them for transport. This dog actually has quite the story behind her. Oh, really? We rescued her the first weekend in February. Her and her sister were abandoned in a house, left behind in a freight to starve to death. She was so emaciated and without food for so long, she couldn't even stand. And we all, the three officers and I, we all took turns every two hours, would come out here, spoon feed them a bite at a time, and got, brought them back to life, basically. When I started the foundation, it really was based on the fact that I can't adopt them all. So what is the next best thing? The next best thing is getting out and making a difference and saving their lives any way that you can. So I would challenge anybody listening to this to go out and make a difference for a pet because only you can make that difference and without you, there really is no tomorrow for that pet. Now that she's healthy, can she go with your team? Yeah, she can go. We can throw her on transport today. Okay, but before she gets ready to go to her rescue, we do have to test her for heartworms. Today, Operation Freedom Ride is pulling 11 dogs and seven cats from Franklin County to bring them back to Rochester, New York. In New York, every dog over the age of six months has to be heartworm tested negative. If they're positive, unfortunately, they can't come with us, so they'll have to stay in the shelter for a month or two just to undergo heartworm treatment. So why are heartworms such a big deal? Well, they are transmitted through mosquitoes. So if a heartworm positive dog goes to New York, a mosquito bites that dog, and then goes and bites a dog that's negative and doesn't have heartworm preventative, that dog gets heartworms. All right, let's check some dogs. 
So these are called Abaxis heartworm tests. We put the blood here. Yeah, one drop of blood, okay. and then two drops of buffer. All right, what if I screw up and three drops hit? That's okay. <laughs> three right. is the max. Okay. Three is the max. Okay, sweet girl. All right. One drop, two drops of buffer. All right, buffer. We don't have a vet on staff. So we cannot spay or neuter here. We cannot treat for heartworms. So we really prefer our animals go to rescues where they do get the funding to get the dogs properly spayed, their shots. A lot of dogs aren't a great fit for transport. So if you don't trust the shelters that you're working with, you can't pull from them. You could be bringing up diseases, you could be having animals that aren't friendly or aren't good with other animals, which is dangerous for anyone on a transport. So you have to really trust the people that you're pulling from. Now that we know these dogs are free of heartworms, we can get them on the road. Our friends with Operation Freedom Ride are ready with the supplies and the wheels. Today, Operation Freedom Ride is pulling 11 dogs and seven cats to bring them back to Rochester, New York, where they have foster homes waiting for them. We've been lining them up this whole trip. They'll spend about two weeks in a foster home, decompressing, getting to know them, making sure that they're healthy. Then we'll start looking for adoptive homes for them. So the best part is right now. We're gonna load up these dogs. They're gonna make their way to a new life. And these dogs that never had a chance are now gonna have a chance. Bottom line is you gotta care about the animals you serve. And the people here in Franklin County, they care. And so to me, that's, that shows. The minute you walk through the door, you see the love. Because everything is done together. Nobody can do it on their own. So working in tandem with other rescues is how you save lives. I mean, this is where the happy tales come from. So pretty excited. Today was yet another successful rescue for Bissell Pet Foundation in Operation Freedom Ride. While their job is never done, some of these dogs can rest easy tonight. Luckily, they can rely on the folks at Franklin County to do their part in caring for dogs at their worst moments. They are truly the good guys at work. Remember, there are plenty of rescue dogs out there still looking for that forever home.